Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. We are cruising right along on our Budget Precision 223 project here, which is going to showcase the Lee Deluxe Challenger press kit, the TC Compass in 223, the Center Point 4 to 16 scope, brand new product introduction from Starline, their 223 brass. Really, really good results that I shared with you last time. Just over a half inch between a half, right around five eighths of an inch for the first group. I've been doing more shooting since then, and I'll have to tell you, it gets even better. I'm not gonna share those results with you right now because I'm still fire farming my brass, and the real goal is to neck only size, to do precision loads, to dial everything in and see just how good we can get. I'm thinking we're gonna be somewhere close to a quarter inch group. So that's my goal. We'll see if I make it. Stick around. So in this video, what I'm going to talk about is the Lee Deluxe Challenger press kit. We're going to do an unboxing. We're going to see what's inside. I've got a bunch of other videos I'm going to link to because I've covered some of the stuff in this particular kit. I've also got my Lee. This is the ultimate die set in 223. That means it's, it's four dies. You can neck only size. You can full length size. It's got the dead length cedar and it's got the factory crimp die. That is gonna produce some really good ammunition. And after we get the press set up, which I'm gonna set up on an inline fabrication ultra mount, that's the press mount system I use here. Lee also has their own press mounting system that you might wanna check out as well. We're gonna get right into precision loading after that and then taking it to the range and I'm gonna get real serious about things and uh, I've really enjoyed shooting the rifle so far it's really easy to get good results with and I can't wait to do more shooting as this series progresses. So let's get right into the kit. I can't wait to see what's inside this press kit. The dies that I showed are separate and that's just about all you need that and components in addition to what's in this kit. Okay, so we have the Lee Deluxe Perfect Powder Measure. That's going to be interesting. I haven't used that one yet. We've got some Lee Resizing Lubricant. Powder Funnel. Deluxe Quick Trim. Can't wait to try that. That's something that we're going to want to take a look at. All right. Modern Reloading by Richard Lee, the second edition. Now, I just finished reading this book. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. It's really comprehensive. You get a really good perspective on reloading from Richard Lee himself, the gentleman that started Lee Precision, and he's also got a unique approach to load data. It's sorted in velocity order. There's quite a bit of cast bullet data in the book, and also he's got a really interesting algorithm, if you will, for calculating reduced loads. Really good manual. And like I said, I'll have more on that. The Lee safety powder scale. I don't actually have a beam scale. All my scales are digital, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Lee auto bench prime. I have a video on this. I really like this tool. Works really well. Uses special shell holders and it requires very little effort in force has been engineered to work with all primers from a safety perspective, even those sensitive ones. Speaking of the special shell holders, this Deluxe Challenger press kit comes with the shell holder set that works with most standard calibers, case rims, uh, for the auto bench prime. These also work in the hand priming tool as well. Got a separate video on that. Also, okay, so here we've got the primer pocket cleaner and the chamfer tool. These are case prep tools that are going to be very handy to have on hand. And then the breech lock challenger press itself. This uses a quick change bushing system. Can't wait to check that out. What else do we have here? We have the Lee Precision. This is the 2017 reloading catalog because here I am in 2017 be up to date regardless and then look at that Hodgson uh, load data manual that's also very nice we've got load data in modern reloading we've got 
load data here in a Hodgton book, and then the dies also come with load data. So we should be good and covered there. Okay, so I'm gonna set this all out. I'm gonna walk through some of the components here that I don't have separate and dedicated videos for or planned, uh, and then we'll go from there. So everything we just took out of the box is neatly laid out here. I'm just gonna set aside those items, again, that I'm either gonna have a different video for or already have a different video for. And we will take a look at anything that needs unboxing here or a more close examination. So the case prep kit, I'm gonna save for later. And let's go for the powder scale. The nice thing about beam scales is they don't require batteries. <laughs> and they just don't, they don't change over time. Okay, so we've got the body, we've got the pan it looks like, and then the beam itself. Okay. So it looks like it's going to sit just like that. And uh, we'll save additional details for our precision reloads video. Basically, you just set everything there and it looks like it's ready to go. Very nice. And it comes with a complete instruction booklet as well. That's nice. Good. So we'll move that aside. Beam scale looks good on your shelf too. <laughs> okay, deluxe perfect powder measure. Let's take a look at this box. Okay. Instruction booklet once again. Got some load data there. Yet again, we've got load data. <laughs> okay, very interesting. So this looks uh, very similar to the auto drum. Familiar hopper for anyone that's used Lee equipment there. Okay. Alrighty. So just like the auto drum. This should be fairly simple. Okay, and we'll double check on that. Just taking a look here. Yep, looks like I actually got that right the first time, which is nice. Okay. There we go. There's a little tab here that lines with the slot the cap on. Okay, that baby looks just about ready to roll. Okay, perfect powder measure, very nice. And the Lee Quick Trim. So this is a manually operated tool used to trim your brass. When you're sizing bottleneck brass, trimming is a very important aspect of the reloading process. If you're over length, it can be dangerous. It can lead to malfunctions. Okay, well, isn't that interesting? Ready? And we've got the instruction sheet here. There we go. Okay. Something else that I'm looking forward to trying. Okay, put these over on this side. And now the Breach Lock Challenger Press. Let's get this box open. See what we've got. Instructions, just like everything Lee sells, comes with good instructions. Oh, 
nice. Nice red. Okay. Handle, spent primer drop tube. That way your primers go into the garbage. I like that. Okay. And we've got a parts bag here. All right. Small and large priming arms. Okay. All righty. I'm going to take a moment to read the instructions on this guy. And I'll be back in a moment to put this press together. So, mounting the inline fabrication quick change top plate, which is the number 10 for the Lee Challenger press, was really straightforward. Everything lined up perfectly, came with all the necessary hardware. Now I've got the Challenger press securely attached to my bench, which is great via this mount. There's only a couple things that we need to do to get this press completely assembled before we do our final assembly for loading. Things like do we use the large or the small priming lever, that kind of thing. So first we're gonna attach the handle. There's a clamp that consists of a square block. The square block is gonna be pointing up. We're gonna have this protruding on the right side because I'm right-handed. And then we insert the lever. Okay, and I'm gonna bias it down just a little bit since I know I'm gonna be loading 223 for quicker strokes. We don't have to, you know, apply a whole lot of force for these kinds of operations, and that's going to make it plenty easy with less than full extension of this lever. Think of it as a quick shift, quick stroke kind of a thing. Okay, so we're just going to check things. Okay, that looks good. I've got plenty of clearance. You're gonna need a half inch wrench or a half inch socket to finish tightening that down. Okay. And then there's a primer deflector that's gonna aim the primers down the chute. Okay. And we have a self-tapping screw here. I'm just gonna carefully get that started. Of course, since this is Phillips, we're gonna push in really hard because we're actually making threads while we're doing this. Super important. As long as we push in hard enough, we are going to be just fine. Continue doing that until it doesn't rattle anymore. Okay, deflectors on. Now the spent primer tube. I'm going to put the cap on the end here. Okay, and then just pop that on. You can aim that into a garbage can. The press is now set up. We're, in the next video, gonna get this press all dialed in for 223, and we're gonna show using all of the different components for some precision loading. So I hope that you'll stick around for that. Now I got a lot more shooting to do, a lot more fire forming before I'm ready to do that, which I'm very much looking forward to, and I hope you'll join me for the rest of the series. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.